Hi Jia. Hello ma'am. Ma, you can call me Khanam. Okay. Okay, tell me about yourself. My name is Jia Singh. I have three months of experience in front-end development and I know HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Currently, I'm a student and working on this field to get better job. I have basic knowledge on all these topics. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm currently a student, so I'm working on this field. Okay, okay. so let us start with interview. Sure. Uh, what is full form of HTML? Hypertext markup language. Okay, why should we use HTML? Uh, to make web pages use. Okay, to make web pages, but exactly why should we use? So that we can lay out our web pages. Uh, exactly. What does markup means in HTML? Uh, it's used to define the structure and presentation of a web content. So do you know what kind of presentation we define? Uh, sorry, I didn't get you. Do you know what kind of presentation, what you mentioned? Do you know what kind of presentation we define? Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, it's simply like if you're having heading, we will have heading if we have paragraph. So in that kind of structure, we will be defining our HTML. Okay. Okay, it's, it is nothing but markup. We are just giving, we are marking our website. Where should be placing the content? Okay. Okay, uh, what is HTTP? Oh, HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And it is a communication protocol used to request data from server. Okay. What are elements in HTML? Uh, elements in HTML in which we add content. Okay, that's right. But uh, it is nothing but opening pack content then closing tag it is called as html element okay ma'am you can call me khanam oh sorry i'm used to it so what are attributes in html it gives additional information to html element example style attribute with height etc okay good so do you know what are tags in html Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I say yes, uh, the start? Um, a tag is a code element used to define the structure and content of a web page. Okay. okay. Can you give some examples? Example: the start tag marks the beginning of an element, and the end tag marks the end. Okay. So we have paragraph tags, heading tags, images tag. Okay. Yes. yes. What are semantic elements? Semantic elements. They are very helpful to give proper structure. Uh, sorry, I'll come again. They are very helpful to give proper structure to websites. Example, section, article, footer, header, etc. So apart from this, so seman why semantic tags are used? Um, I don't know. No. So basically, it is used in search engine optimization and also for screen readers, it is very helpful. Okay, blind okay. people who are not able to see the website, for them, semantic tags are very helpful. Okay. okay. Mm. So what is the purpose of using meta tags? Meta tags in HTML are used to provide metadata about a web page. Okay, what is that metadata? Metadata, okay. It's a information that describes other data. Uh, you know, like, can you give some examples? Um, I have no idea on that. Okay, it will be providing additional information related to browsers. Okay, search engines, you can give author name. So we can give additional information, but that will not be visible to users. Okay, I got it. Uh, what are global attributes? You know, you told about attributes. What are global attributes? Uh, I have no idea on that. Um, okay, no problem. You can just research on that. Okay. Now let us come to CSS part. 
why do we use important keyword in CSS? Okay, uh, when we give important or dress styling, whatever was given previously for element will be overridden. Yes, correct. You are right. Thank you. So, what is block and inline level elements when it comes to CSS? Block level elements are nothing but it will have complete 100% width and its display property will be block. And in inline level, its width will be contained width and its display property will be inline. Okay, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, whenever you give interview, you have to tell at least uh, two to three points, okay? Okay. You can just research on these topics. Okay. What are selectors in CSS? We can select HTML elements to apply style that are known as CSS. Okay. Uh, examples? Examples, element selector, class selector, ID selector. Okay. Those are different types of selector. Examples okay. of selectors are? We have heading. We can directly select headings, paragraphs. We can select class. Okay, so we are having different types of selectors, as you mentioned, element selector, class selector, ID selector, yes. attribute selector, we have many, okay? Okay. So what is combinator selectors? Oh, I have no idea on that, actually. Okay, it is also one of the type of selector and using this we can define relationship with other elements. Okay, Khan. So in that also, we are having different types. You can just research on that. Hmm. Okay. And um, explain, do you know about Flex? Flexbox. Uh, this topic is not yet started. Oh, you have not started? Uh, no, it's not yet started yet. Okay. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, you are having one diff. And inside that, you are having some content. Now you want to center that box horizontally and vertically. How you will do that? Um, I, I have no idea on that. Okay, so you have not uh, worked on any website making? No, not yet. Okay, it's fine. No problem. So what is Z-index property? It defines order of position, what element, how it has to be displayed. Order in the sense uh, what you are referring? Uh, stack order? Yes, correct. So do you know the difference between display none and visibility hidden? Yes. Okay. Uh, display none removes the element from the document flow while visibility, hi visibility hidden hides the element but it still takes a space. Okay, that's correct. Uh, now let us come to JavaScript. What is JavaScript? It is a high-level programming language used to interact with the web. Okay, it is correct, but uh, JavaScript is more than this. Just go through complete definition of JavaScript whenever you are going for interview. Okay. So what does dynamic language means? <laughs> dynamic language means, okay. When we are creating variables, we don't have to give data type. That's called dynamic language name. Yes, correctly. So whenever we are creating any variable in JavaScript, we don't have to tell it is string data type or it is number data type. Okay. Okay. How does hoisting work in JavaScript? Hosting. Uh, I have no idea on that. Okay. So these are the most important questions which will be asked okay so you have to go through you can note it down okay thank you i'll be noting it so difference between let var and const okay let and const are block scope and var is function scope okay so what are different types data types in javascript uh data types okay different types in data types are Primitive and non-primitive. Okay. Okay. And what are the different types available on primitive and non-primitive? Different types available are integer, string, boolean, null, objects, arrays, 
functions etc integer is not data type we have number data type okay okay we have undefined okay so in total there are seven primitive data type and rest all are objects okay okay so now let us start with the coding part uh, can you share your screen okay wait a minute actually i'm not able to scale the screen here i'm facing some issue i'm scaring it okay uh, below down you can see the arrow mark uh, you are not able to click there arrow mark uh, i'm not able to do this uh, what error you are getting actually i'm using mobile right now so i'm not able to scale, share my screen here you don't have laptop actually i'm facing some issues with my laptop okay okay no problem i will be sharing my screen okay. i will be giving some coding based question so mm. as your laptop is not there i will be canceling the project part but still you can work on coding part i will share my screen and you have to tell the result okay can okay i will share my screen can you see my screen yes i am able to see your screen okay so i have created one folder i will just write some code i will just paste the code just see and you have to tell me the result okay let x is to this at y is equals to constant to wrong constant the output is false for both yeah for both okay let us see Yes, you are right. Uh, do you know why it is false? Output. Uh, no idea. And then how come you told false? Because console interlog why both are equals to y. Because here we are having array and they will be referring to memory. Okay, that's fine. so whenever you are giving any answers you should be able to explain as well okay can you tell me the output of this i show give me a minute that is equals to that is equals to console log console log okay. i have no idea on this Okay. So whenever we are working on non-primitive data types, we will be referring to memory. Okay. Okay. Now this memory, whatever memory we are having for A, directly we have assigned to B. So in this case, we should get the result as true. So in both the situations, we will get the result as true. But here we got false because memories are different. Okay. Yeah. can you tell the output of this or uh, show sure. wait a minute hello lona else console part the output is by no no huh? output should be hello learner okay apart from false values rest all are true the values okay rest all are true whether it is let it be empty object but still this condition is true i will be coming inside this and hello learner will be displayed okay let me show you yeah you can see hello learner yes okay only false values whatever i give suppose if i give here zero then i will get result as by but empty object will be considered as truthy value 
Okay, Khan. Then next, directly I will write here. Lock. What will be the result of this? The output is done. Yeah. Okay, apart from that, we will get something. I don't know. Okay. We will be getting fulfilled promise. You can see our promise is fulfilled. Why? Because directly we are resolving our promise. Okay. Okay. So whenever you get this kind of questions, you should always tell our promise is fulfilled and we get the result as done. Okay. Then last question for the day. Okay. As you are not having laptop, so I will not continue more, but later you can join with me for other session. Okay, sure. Fine. So can you tell me what will be the type of data? The output might be boolean here. Uh, no. It's not? No. Oh, then I have no idea. Okay, the output of data will be string. Why? Because we have wrapped this content inside double quotes. Okay, mm -hmm. whatever you are wrapping inside double quotes or single quotes, and if you are assigned to any variable, type will be string. Okay, it will not be boolean. It is false, so most of us get confused. It is boolean, but it is string. If I remove double quotes, then it will be boolean. Okay. Type is boolean, but if I give here double quotes, then it will be string. Okay. So now here, if I just give two nodes, what will be the result? Oh, I, it is shown here, but uh, can you explain me how we got boolean? Because we have uh, applied two cores there. Okay. Uh, even more? One more. That's it. Okay, no problem. So here we will have string. So string is nothing but truthy value. So not of string not of true will be false so not of false will be true. not of false will be true so type of true will be boolean okay okay i will stop this interview how was your interview how was your experience what all you should learn i've got many things to learn and i'm and i still need to learn a lot yes you have to focus more on many topics Yes. You are able to guess the answer, but still you are not able to explain how we are getting the answer. So you should focus on that area. Yes. Most of the people, they will give theory part, but in practical, they get stuck. You have to practice a lot of programming, a lot of coding. Yes. Um, I have so uh, how many marks you will give for yourself out of 10? Out of 10, I think... Uh, 2.5 or 3 because I am <laughs> not so less. You can give 4. You can work on you can work on more advanced concept. You are able to answer, but still you have to learn a lot of things. Yeah. So if you ask me, I would not be taking you. But still you have to practice. If you just give your five to six months, you will be able to answer even more better way. Okay. Okay. So, any you do you have any questions? I know. I uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to come and tell you. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye.